Now time for today's uh, News Extra, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank, Mitchell and Kimball. <laughs> Mitchell and Torrington, the way banking should be. All right, here's Kevin Mooney. And good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And uh, uh, today, our guests on News Extra, Jennifer Seibel and Allison Judy from WNCC. We're going to talk about uh, the college's first Athletics Hall of Fame inaugural class. And uh, you might have heard in the last couple of weeks, we've uh, talked about it on the radio, that uh, the first inductees into that class, Bobby Jackson and Dick Nitrain Lane. And Jennifer, I, I can't imagine two better people to start this out than those two folks. Yes, we are so excited to have um, those alumni come back to our area. Um, of course, Night Train Lane has since passed, but his three sons will be here. Yeah. And are, they're so excited to be uh, re- to welcoming to the area and to learn more about their dad's time here in Scotts Bluff. And then, of course, Bobby, you know, our 90s basketball superstar here at, yeah. at Cougar Palace, and we're really excited to have him back as well. Oh, yeah. Fantastic basketball team back when Bobby was here and Bernard Garner and uh, Soupy Campbell, the coach, and the whole nine yards. Um, Dick Knight, train lane. I, a lot of people probably forget we had football here back in the 50s. Yes, right? 40s uh, and early 50s, we had yeah. a football program um, and produced some obviously NFL Hall of Famers, right? Yeah. And Dick Knight Train Lane. Um, he played for us during the 1947 season um, and then went on in, to go off into the war. But um, he was amazing. And um, I pulled some records from the um, newspaper during that time, and um, he definitely was a shining star even that back then. So. Yeah, and he was a junior college All-American when he was here, mm-hmm. and then uh, after the war, uh, he uh, had a tryout at the Rams, made the team, and he started out as a defensive end before he became uh, one of the best cornerbacks really ever in the NFL. Yes, and still holds a record to this day, which is phenomenal. Yeah, 14 interceptions in one season. Which was a 12-game season. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah, very impressive. Vicious tackler. He's kind of like the Ty Cobb of the NFL. Um, definitely the reason that you don't grab face masks today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was one of his things to uh, yeah. haul people down, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, But anyway, uh, yeah, fantastic player. Started with the Rams uh, most of his time. Uh, was with the uh, Detroit Lions, 14 years with them. Uh, he had overall 68 interceptions. He was an all-NFL player and uh, really just a, a, just a tremendous uh, defensive back in his time. And then uh, Allison, the other person, of course, we're talking about here is uh, Bobby Jackson. And uh, this is back uh, in, the, in the 90s when uh, the basketball team, not that it isn't good now, but... <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that the basketball team uh, really with uh, with Bobby and Bernard Garner was something special to watch, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I'm not growing up in the area, but hearing from peers like Jennifer and uh, my husband, people growing up here and talking about going to Cougar Palace and it was the place to be and yeah. just the excitement. Um, they certainly you know had something special and i know uh, coach Faringer, if you're listening i'm sure that he's he's got those big goals um and he's off you know got our program off to a great start so far in yeah, his first year that's right but uh jackson was uh, pretty amazing he was one of those guys you look at his stats i mean he led in steals yeah. he's high up in uh, assists free throws right. um he was a double figure scorer but mm-hmm. um most of his time was spent making sure Garner got his shots mm-hmm. and uh, slash into the basket and all that kind of stuff. He was he was truly a fun guy to watch. Right. You know, and, and of course, not being able to watch him, but uh, what would appear, you know, that he really, you know, got a great start here and maybe it wasn't, you know, in the top, uh, you know, 10 for every record, you know, at WNCC, but really then going on to Minnesota and playing really kind of blossomed. And then yeah. obviously, All you know, American. NBA first round draft picked right. um, and, and enjoyed lots of success in the NBA. So, yep. One of the worst things the Nuggets ever did was <laughs> trade him to the Sacramento <laughs> Kings. Nardy. And uh, don't understand what they were doing. I couldn't, couldn't quite figure that out. But anyway, it's fantastic with Sacramento. Yep. And uh, uh, did some amazing things. Fourteen years in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, we'll talk about how they're going to honor these two uh, folks uh, right after this. 
Secure your peace of mind with Pinnacle Bank's new checking account, the Diamond Secure account. With it, you'll get all the great features of our checking accounts along with identity theft protection and cellular telephone protection. For complete details of this checking account, speak with the bank representative. Open a new Diamond Secure account in branch or at wypinbank.com. To switch your current checking account, visit your local branch in Mitchell or Torrington. Pinnacle Bank, member FDIC. Insurance products are not insured by FDIC or any federal government agency. Not a deposit of or guaranteed by the bank or any bank affiliate. All right, we're back on News Extra. We're talking about the WNCC inaugural Hall of Fame uh, uh, class, their uh, athletic class. And, uh, of course, Bobby Jackson and Dick, and Dick Night Train Lane are going to be honored at a basketball game on January 23rd. Mm-hmm. And maybe, Jennifer, you can tell them a little bit about how we're going to do this. Sure. Well, we are hoping that everyone will come out and welcome these individuals back to the community. Like you said, Monday, January 23rd, um, we're going to be doing the ceremony between uh, the men's halftime game. But, of course, we encourage you to come out and cheer on the women's game, which starts at 530 that night. And then men's game um it starts at 7.30. And we're going to have some rally towel giveaways to the first 750 fans through the door. Um, we're going to have some special autograph signing sessions with uh, Bobby, of course, but also our um, Cougar athletic teams that are there now as well. So you get um, a lot of bang for your buck that night. Yeah, it's going to be a wonderful night. Jennifer Seibel and Alice and Judy here from WNCC. And then, uh, so it's going to be a special night. Casper College, Allison is the is the foe that night, yes. and uh, always when we play Casper College, it's uh, kind of the rival game, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think any um, Region Nine matchup, you know, it's it's any day uh, is considered a rivalry. But yeah, I know that um, we've we've had some history with that college yeah, across right. the board, so yeah. it's it's going to be a great game, um, you know, to watch our teams you know if you haven't been out to a game this year i think this is a great opportunity to come out yep. and and really see what we're up to right and the kids like i said can uh, get an autograph get bobby's <coughs> autograph and yep. uh and really kind of enjoy and find out exactly what these two guys are all about again the uh, ceremony is during the halftime of the men's game that night the women will start at five thirty, and the men's game is at seven thirty, and halftime is when uh, these two guys will get inaugurated. And then after that, as far as what happens with this uh, Hall of Fame activity, uh, it might be uh, an annual thing. It might be a uh, every other year thing. It just all kind of depends. But right? Yeah. You know, uh, when Jennifer and I uh, were co-chairs of our 90th anniversary, and this is actually how this idea came off the ground, is is because of, you know, the celebration of our college. And we thought we have got to do in all your hall of fame we've got such a rich history in athletics and to not have a hall of fame um you know didn't we just thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do it and uh so we worked with ryan bergner the athletic director and he was really great about you know putting something together and we kind of said well here we're gonna we're gonna do this event and we're excited about it and then going forward it's up to you we'll help you out but i think that they'll be in in future years it'll be a function of the athletic department and how yeah. often they want to do it. Okay, very good. Uh, the athletics here, by the way, 59 Region 9 titles, yeah. 58 All-American Junior College, All-Americans through all the sports at WNCC. Yeah. All right, you guys, good luck with it. January 23rd, again, a halftime of the men's game is uh, the big ceremony. Appreciate it very much. Thanks for having us. Thank you. you. Your trusted voice, KNEB, Scotts Bluff, Geary, 960 AM, and now on 100.3 FM. Peace.